I would like to call again on Professor Gavin Pointer to return to the lectern to deliver the citation for the presentation of Mr. Damon Alban for the award of Honorary Master of Arts of the University of East London. Professor Pointer. <laughs> Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted and honored to be delivering the citation for the conferment of the award of Honorary Master of Arts of the University of East London on Mr. Damon Albarn. I think this morning we do owe Damon very special thanks for attending our ceremony with us, since I know that he spent the very first part of this morning at hospital receiving medical treatment for an eye condition. We do hope you have a very speedy recovery to full sight, and we'd like to thank you very much for making us attending with us here today. Thank you, Damon. <laughs> Damon is quite simply one of the most influential musicians in the world today. He is the founder of not one, but two highly successful and musically pioneering bands, Blur and Gorillaz. And his collaborations with musicians and artists around the world have taken him from East London to Havana, to Mali, and even, as we will learn, to Mars. Born in Leytonstone, Damon studied at the East 15 Acting School and Goldsmiths College, now part of the University of London. In 1988, Damon formed the band Circus with school friend Graham Coxon. Circus soon became Seymour, which then turned into Blur. For the benefit of those who missed it, Blur were at the forefront of the 1990s revival in British guitar bands that became known as Brit Pop. Seen by many as one of the most inventive and versatile groups since the Beatles, Blur have released seven full-length albums, five of which went to number one in the UK charts. The group have continued to evolve musically while their erstwhile rivals have remained stuck in the past. They have collaborated with individuals as diverse as Damien Hurst and Ken Livingstone and even recorded a track sent to Mars on the ill-fated but highly imaginative Beagle 2 space probe. Since 2001, Damon Albarn has achieved even more critical and popular acclaim with a separate group, Gorillaz, which is unique in that its members are not only fictional but animated cartoon characters. A collaboration with artist Jamie Hewlett, Gorillaz consists of four manga-style characters named Russell, Murdoch, 2D, and Noodle, with Damon providing the musical driving force. Damon Albarn has also developed his work into other areas of music, collaborating with musical luminaries from around the world, such as Ibrahim Ferrer from the Bonavicia Social Club. In 2000, he visited Mali on behalf of Oxfam. His work with talented musicians from the West African nation resulted in the acclaimed 2002 album, Mali Music, the first release on Honest John's Records, the label that Damon helped set up to showcase international musical talent. The, the album, helped bring artists such as Tumani Diabete and Afel Bukum and Mali's rich musical scene into 
Western musical consciousness. His film track work, soundtrack work, includes Ravenous and Michael Nyman, with Michael Nyman, an ordinary decent criminal, and 101 Reykjavik. He has also appeared in front of the cameras. Trained as an actor, Damon made his film debut in 1997 alongside Ray Winston and Robert Carlyle in Antonia Bird's acclaimed crime thriller, Face, which, and this must be a coincidence, was broadcast last night on BBC One. This year, Damon teamed up with former Clash bassist Paul Simonon, guitarist Simon Tong, and drummer Tony Allen to produce an album, The Good, The Bad, and The Queen, which is set to be released in January 2007, and that band is currently touring. When not on the road, he lives in domestic bliss in London with the artist Susie Wynne Stanley and their seven-year-old daughter, Missy. Damon Albarn, in recognition of your outstanding contribution to music and culture, both in the UK and internationally, it gives me the greatest pleasure to ask the Chancellor to confer upon you the award of Master of Arts at the University of East London, Honoris Causa. By virtue of the powers vested me as Chancellor, I hereby confer on you, Damon Albarn, the award of Master of Arts of the University of East London, Honoris Causa. Right, I'll keep this brief because uh, I'm sure you'll want to go and celebrate. Um, three things. Uh, firstly, really nice to see so many proud and happy faces. It's kind of really heartwarming and refreshing and a positive thing for a Tuesday. Um, secondly, it's really nice to uh, receive this from what in, well, when I was a kid, it was the North East London Polytechnic, and um, my dad worked there for years, and, and I, re I remember it being a big building with lots of interesting people in it when I was a kid. So that's kind of, that's sort of my impression then and today. And uh, thirdly, thirdly, thank you all very much. <laughs>